So you want to ride in the mud, you got to get a K&M XMR. But which model did you choose? The 570 is very capable. The 650 is impressive. The 850 is very popular. Or do you go top dog with a 1000? The choice is, do you go Outlander or do you go for the Renegade? That's a 1000. That's the difference. In this video, I'm going to give you my top five reasons why you want to go for the Renegade. When it comes to money, the question is, how much are you willing to spend for glory? Because that's what the power of the Rotax 1000R engine is. It gets you to glory, man. There's nothing else quite like it. For this topic of the 1000 class, the question gets asked so many times. Should I get the 1000 Max chassis or should I get a Renegade? All right, right from the Can-Am website, let's compare the prices. The Outlander comes in at $17,949. The Renegade comes in at $19,999. I don't know, but that sure seems like a huge gap in price. Number one, the Max chassis is too long of a wheelbase for mud riding. There are some situations where a longer wheelbase is a benefit, but in my experience, the long wheelbase gets hung up or high centered way too often. There's nothing worse when you're out riding with your buddies and you get stuck and other people don't. And that's what happens more times than not with people that have the long frame max chassis. Number two, the Renegade has the best snorkel system going, bar none. And it's also well positioned to keep it away from the elements. The factory snorkel location for the Outlander is just not good enough. It sits too low. So what do most people do? They go to an aftermarket snorkel extension. That'll definitely fix that issue for you, but you end up with having these snorkel extensions right up in front of your face. The number three, the Renegade comes with all the accessories that you need and want. With one exception, it does not come with a rad relocate. However, there is one available from Can-Am that is a warranty approved accessory and retails for about $500 Canadian. Fairly reasonably priced. If you're gonna ride in the mud or extreme terrain, you really need to get a rad relocate. It's your best option. The Renegade does not come with a rack, but do you really need a rack? You can get away without one, but it's something you can also add. Now here's a few things that the Renegade comes with that the Outlander does not. Aluminum skid plates, tapered aluminum handlebars, a mud strap, full wrap handguards, aluminum beadlock wheels, QSC quick adjustable shocks, heavy duty steel bash plate on the front, heavy duty steel footwells. Now one thing that the Outlander comes with that the Renegade doesn't is a bigger size information screen. Now with the Max chassis, you can carry a passenger, but guess what? The XMR does not come with the passenger seat, so you gotta add that for another over $800. Number four. This is a benefit that you may not see a price tag for. The Renegade, you have better and easier access for all your maintenance. Ask anyone that owns an Outlander how much work it takes just to do an oil change or to change a belt. Many people comment that the Renegade gets you dirtier, but with those smaller fenders, it's so much easier to access even just to hit all your grease points. These are high powered machines that require high maintenance. So when you're in there working on it all the time, ease of use is very important. Time is money. Now, if you get serious about mud riding, you definitely are not gonna wanna stick with the stock 28 inch cryptid tires. Benefit number five. With the Renegade, you can easily fit 31 inch mud tires, no problems, no modifications required. With the Outlander, to increase your tire size, you have to go to an aftermarket floorboard, which will cost you several hundred dollars. Some of the differences here really boil down to how much money do you want to spend? The old price versus cost type of thing. Sure, you're going to spend more right off the hop with the Renegade. But then at the end of the day, the Renegade is going to go more places, more easier, more often. than the Can-Am Outlander 1000 XMR. 
box of life. You don't need an Outlander. This is what I got for my Renegade, hunting setup. You don't have to get an Outlander just because it's got racks. You can get a, you can get a BRP rack, the link system, that fits on your Renegade, and it just comes with a different mount. Number six, here's a bonus. The Renegade looks way friggin' cooler, man. They're such a sexy machine. They really, really are. So if you're looking to spend a little less cash but still want some performance, why not check out this video right now on the benefits of the 850 Outlander XMR. Thank you.